at the moment I'm going to show you how to do some other things in addition to what I showed you before with the wireframes. The wireframe construction was controlled by this grouping right here. We can change these sliders to change both the number of divisions and also the size of the wires that are uh, then created later in the program. And you might like to do some other kinds of wire switches. I mean, this is just one of many ideas. And um, an efficient way of working with uh, Dynamo is to copy and paste. So this is done with Control C and Control V to copy and paste. Both of those groups, I went selected them with the window select. And then I can go into the structure grid uh, and I can just delete it. Um, there are several other structure commands in here. Um, Dynamo is just chock full of uh, commands and there's always more being added. I don't know them all, but this one right here is, for instance, it's another kind of wire grid. It's a di uh, diagonal, a diamond um, grid. So I went and grabbed that command. Um, I'd like to add it to that group and I um, create a window select around both the new command and the group that I want to add it to and I can then say add to the group with the right mouse button click. So now I've got this in there and I'm going to try to position it but I'm not going to worry about it too long. Uh, I hook it back up in the way that I did with the other ones as well because I need a U and a V that's the local X and Y coordinates uh, with respect to the surface itself and then I have to cook up, uh, hook up the uh, lines to the curves for the ongoing command. And I do need one other command here. Um, there is a command associated with the diagonal um, structure grid called a Boolean. Um, it decides about whether or not um, the, uh, the elements are connected to one another or not. So I do need to hook that up. So I add that and I also add that to the group just to make everything nice and neat. And uh, then I go back to my original um, surface definition which was already part of the other ones and I connect that as well you'll notice that that's connected to two separate command structures and that's just fine and um, once I do that you'll see that this um, diagonal uh, diamond grid uh, pipe structure shows up um, it's a little bit confusing because it's in the exact same place and I'd like to be able to take a look at it so I went in and I added another command called a translate a translate just says well Exact, does exactly what it says. It translates uh, geometry or items in the uh, Dynamo, um, Dynamo um, geometry window, and it does so by the uh, amount that's defined. So if I took those pipes that I just created from the diamond grid, I hooked them up to the translate command, and then I need to use the number command to say how much I would like to translate those. I just translated them. 500 in the x direction here and that just moves it along that actually creates a double because each one of these uh, commands has a preview associated with it so every uh, command i define in dynamo will preview will show what it does and so as a result i have to go back through and i have to actually turn some of the previews off to make a uh, sense of it all before i do that though i took that uh, translate command and the number that went with it and i created a group with that as well just to keep things nice and neat and so that somebody coming back later might be able to actually follow what I'm talking about what I'm doing uh, it's also a nice way if I want to reuse that later I can uh, easily grab it in one fell swoop and do that um, just doing some cleanup here making some things nice uh, changing some of the values so that you can see that as you change um, my uh, previews update it always takes a bit of a, a second or two to um, update the bigger the programs will get, the longer this will take. Um, there is an option actually to turn off the automatic update because sometimes if you have very large programs, uh, that update can take quite a bit of time. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it on automatic, turn off some of my previews, make everything nice and neat so that I only have the uh, 3D geometry showing. And I just wanted to show you, you can continue on with this. I did a window select over the whole thing, Control C, Control V. I now have not only the uh, wire mesh, the diameter, uh, sorry, the diagonal wire mesh control. I also took the translate with it, and now I'm going to translate that uh, in the uh, minus 500 direction. Those two are exactly the same, but now I'm going to go back and do my old trick. 
I'm going to take that diagonal um, wire grid and I'm replace it with a hex grid. There is another one there. I just wanted to show it. And that's kind of the inspiration for this video. I want to show you all the different kinds of commands that there are. There's certainly many, many more than this, and I don't even know all of them. I'd like to hear and see what you guys come up with. That'd be great. And uh, I just have to end up hooking that back up. I have to do a U and a V. There is a command here associated with the Boolean as well. And there is one other command that actually controls the, um, the, the relative height and width of the um, hexagon in the hexagon grid. So I put, a, uh, I put a number slider in there. You'll notice later that I'll change that number slider to make it go from uh, 0 to 1 uh, in uh, 1 tenth uh, increments. But for the moment, I'm going to leave it at 1 where it is. That's just fine. I connect all those up into a group and make sure those are all added. And so it's nice and neat and clean. You'll notice that uh, it doesn't work immediately because I forgot to hook up my lines to the um, pipe command. So once I do that, I'm pretty much good to go. You'll see that uh, it doesn't like the fact that uh, there is a command uh, pointing to a null. So I've got to figure out exactly what's going on there. And you'll see, simple enough, I forgot to hook up my original surface to the uh, to the command to create the grid meshes there. So, you know, sometimes as these things get a little bit more complicated, you got to um, look twice, make sure um, where everything's hooked up. So I've got these great uh, three variations, and I could uh, change those anytime I want. But each one of these is being exported as a SAP file, and I can read those in uh, to Fusion as a SAP file. And so I did that. I did it beforehand, actually. So I've got all three versions sitting there. Um, it's interesting the way I set this up. I made sure that they're all sitting on the origin. Uh, the ones you see in Dynamo are just translated for your viewing pleasure. I hope this helps. See you soon.